By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to do something different, something new, because I am playing against one of my patrons. I am playing against Ryan. Now, if you'd like to know more about my Patreon page, you can click on the info card that's appearing right now and you can check out my Patreon. I first want to thank Ryan for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you very much. And the way this works is my patrons, they get to choose a rule set and then we're just going to play against each other and he has chosen Atlantic rules. So that means that uh, we are going to see some Fallen Empire in this matchup. Ryan is playing with a pink weenie deck, so that means that we'll be seeing some plateaus because pink weenie is red and white. And we will probably see the red color mainly bringing in direct damage, so I'm expecting lightning bolts, chain lightnings maybe, maybe even a fireball. And then of course we've got white for the little creatures, so um, thinking about um, Fallen Empire here because we're playing Atlantic. The first card that I think about is Ecation Javelineers. I think it's it's a great card and it's also actually very strong against the deck that I'm playing because I'm playing cards like Willow the Wisp. So the Ecation Javelineers can be very annoying against uh, against those cards. And I know I know what you're thinking, but Willow the Wisp has regeneration. Yeah, of course, but you need to have the black mana available to even you know if you're regenerating it in combat and then then post uh, combat. You have to be able to regenerate it again because you have those pesky javelineers. Just in general, the javelineers, when you play with it, you notice just how good they are. Just that one damage option is always kind of there. It's always kind of this threatening thing um, as when you play against it. So, yeah, a bit curious. We'll probably see some other um, Fallen Empire cards. It's going to be nice, you know, playing some, uh, some Fallen Empire magic here. Uh, I am playing with a mono black deck. And um, the black card that I'm playing with, obviously, from Fallen Empire is Him to Turek. Incredibly strong card. Maybe, I mean, I'm willing to go there. Maybe I'm overestimating it a little bit because I don't play with it that often. Um, so we're actually going to see how good this, this card really is. I'm also playing with four sinkholes because I'm just a very mean person. So my plan to do this is just to get rid of his lands, get rid of the cards in his hand, and then hopefully later in the game, play my favorite card in this deck, the Demonic Hordes. So, um, yeah, that's basically the plan. I have to put some Timmy style in the deck, obviously, so I had to put some Demonic Hordes in there. I'm also playing with Will o' the Wisp because I just think it's such a flavorful and beautiful card. I'm not sure if it's the right pick here. Um, but, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So let's go to game number one and, and see how Ryan does. Game number one, and we have Ryan sitting on the left. I'm sitting on the right with the Timmy playmat, and that's a pretty nice opening here for Ryan with that Savannah line, 2-1 vanilla creature, very strong and old school. And I'm starting with the Swamp here, it looks like I have a first play as well, Dark Ritual, Evil Presence, and a Hymn to Turek. That's a pretty good start for me here, so changing that basic plane into a Swamp. And I think what's going to be really difficult for me in this, um, with the deck that I've built, realizing it while I'm, I'm actually playing, is that land removal against a weenie deck is usually not as efficient because you just don't need a lot of land. But still, in the early game, it can set him back. And of course, the him is really painful. Finding that plateau here, so he has both colored mana again. Attacking here for two, so I'm going to 18. Playing a Javelineers, I mentioned the card in the introduction, I think it's very strong. Playing a second Swamp here, tapping for two. Will there be a Black Knight? Another him to Turak. That's just brutal, losing all his cards here, but he still has his two creatures on the board. And remember, I also only have two cards in hand. I simply need a decent creature. A Black Knight could do a lot of work here in this field. Not finding another land. I am finding a sinkhole, taking care of the plateau. So that means he only has one swamp and I have that strip mine there as well. So he's pretty much isolated, but on the other hand, he's still dealing damage. I'm already on 12, so I really need a decent follow up here. Deciding not to strip because I have some cards that cost three mana, like the Hypnotic Spectre. And I prefer being able to play something out to kind of stop the damage already being here on 12. Let me know what you think about this play, by the way. Would you have used the strip? 
And there is a Mishra's factory, so that's at least a nice target for the strip mine as well. But let's first see what Ryan's going to do. Is he just going to attack? I think that's a good decision here, attacking with the Savannah Lions. He has one card in hand, so I really want to discard that card out of his hand. Deciding to take the damage for that reason, going to 10 here. But of course, Ryan could possibly still play it in his second main phase, but maybe it's a land. And it is a land, it's a mountain. So I'm taking care of that, using the strip mine, playing another swamp. And I think that this is a little bit of a bad play because why use a strip mine in my turn? I could have waited for Ryan to use to turn his assembly worker into a 2 2 and then wasting mana on that. On the other hand, he does then have a colorless mana less. Attacking here again, I'm on 7. So it's kind of a weird game here for me because I've got control. That Will of the Wisp can hopefully help me. Attacking again here. Let's see what it is. Playing it out a disenchant on Evil Presence. So he's got two planes back again. It is a bit of a weird game for me. That's what I'm trying to say because I have control. But on the other hand, I'm on 7. And he is still, still dealing damage here. Nice Mox Pearl, by the way, Ryan. There's an attack here. Uh, regenerating my Willow. Going going to six here. It's. Uh, I probably have to block with my Spectre, block the lines to kind of stop the bleeding. And what's in my hand? Maybe I need more mana. I wonder what's in my hand. Oh, probably an animate deck because I'm asking what creatures he has. Deciding not to play the anime dead because I want to have enough mana to regenerate my willow. Although, again, I'm not sure about that play. Maybe I should have just played the animate. On the other hand, he's now playing a strip mine. He's able to take care of one of my lands if he wants to. Decides not to attack, which is good news for me. And there I go. Another land removal spell. That means if he taps his plane, it gets destroyed. But he can use it one more time. And I think that whole land removal tactic is just not working. I think the Hims did great work here, but for some reason I'm not able to get ahead. Kind of a disbalance, it seems, in my deck here. Passing turn again. And I think why I'm not playing that anime dead, by the way, because I only have the priest as a target, and of course he can shoot it down with his javelineers. Attacking now with the hippie, losing a card, losing his bad moon. It's not very effective against me, of course. And now I have two blockers there, two will o' the wisps to block, and two swamps to regenerate them. Passing turn here. I wonder if he's playing with a Sarah. Maybe he's playing with a Sarah, one or two Sarah angels. Let's see what he's going to do here. Another Javelineers. That means that he can next turn he can shoot my hippie out of the skies. It looks like my opponent Ryan is on 14 here. I'm only on 6. Attacking with both. Probably just going to block and regenerate. And it's, I don't play with Will of the Wisps often, but I remember back in the day, everybody used to play them. And he's now using a strip mine on one of the swamps. But now that I'm playing with the Willow, I'm kind of understanding why people don't really like it, because a mace just seems a bit more efficient. And I mean, you have to keep a land back to block, and that's not ideal. And I'm not drawing a lot of lands, by the way. Very light on lands. And there's not really a good target for me to take out of that graveyard, so I might as well just use the hippie here. Let's see, one card in hand here for Ryan. And, oh, that's bad news. Oh, I forgot the name. It's the Pump Knight with protection from black, and I just completely forgot about this card. This is a huge problem for me because I have nothing against it. Because it has protection from black. Lions and 
There you go. That's another reason to play Maze of If, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking away the two counters, throwing two spears to my Hypnotic Spectre. Hypnotic Spectre dies the end of the line here. And now I should actually get the Preacher back with my anime dead if I have it. But I'm not doing it. Instead, oh, I'm playing a Demonic Hordes. That is nice. I mean, it's maybe not the best play because it also has an upkeep and now I cannot regenerate my Willows, but it is fun to play though. But I think if I have an Animate Dead in hand, and I think I do, if I remember correctly, I should have just gotten back the Preacher and taken over his 2-1 Pump Knight to kind of save myself, which is more important than playing out a Demonic Hordes. Playing like a true Timmy here. Yeah, boom, and it's killed by his Swords to Plows here. It's painful. At least it gives me some life here. But I'm probably going to lose the life straight away because he's attacking full force. I don't think I'm going to jump here. I'm on five. I really need... I need to take care of business. Maybe I don't have an anime dead or else I would have played it. I think I do. Here you go. Anime dead, taking back the Preacher. It has summoning sickness still. Of course, the downside of the Preacher is my opponent can choose what card he's going to give me, I'm realizing now. So that's actually not a great answer. The best answer would be a Javelineers in the graveyard. Attacking full force again. I'm on five now. I cannot block the Pump Knight. So I have to block the Lions and the Javelineers. Taking three. He can pump it up. Going to one. Doesn't pump it up, it seems. And there's a Bolt. End of story. End of... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I probably had it in my hand the whole time, the Pestilence. On the other hand, yeah... I think playing the Demonic Hordes was, was really, it was a flavorful decision, but it was a bad decision. Uh, let's take a look at that play again, like what actually happened there. Ooh, especially... Uh-oh. Well, let's see here. Yep, we're going to plow the sword, sword chariot. Sorry, which one? The uh, demonic heart. The horde. The demonic horde. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> So looking back at this game, I definitely feel that I should have used the anime dead um, also because then it could have used the preacher earlier and I could have started stealing um, creatures by my opponent and trying to kill the pump knight of, of my opponent. Anyway, you know, when you look back at a game nine out of ten times, I, I, I seem to still make mistakes here. <laughs> None, nevertheless, it's a great victory. Uh, Ryan, congratulations. You're one up. And uh, let's go to game number two and, and see if I can make it 1-1 and we need a third game. Game number two, at least I get to start here. Look at me go, a basic swamp, not as an explosive start as last turn. Here we see a plains and there it is, the Savannah lines again. Uh, that line did me so much damage in that, uh, in that first game. Let's see if I can find another him here or a sinkhole. I've got quite a lot of good two drops actually in this deck. What am I going to do? And there's a Willow. At least it's going to save me from two damage. Attacking here. Probably going to block regenerate exactly what's going to happen. Ooh, and there's the Pump Knight. Ay, ay, ay. I think it's Order of Light Burr. Protects you from black. And I don't think I really have anything in my sideboard. It was just something I didn't really think about. Playing a Demonic Tutor. I do have Black Knights in my deck. I didn't see them. Maybe I'm looking up one now. Although I'm not sure if that's really the best pick. Going through my deck here. Passing turn. And again here you kind of see the downside of Willow. Um, he's attacking. I don't have mana to regenerate. So I just have to take the damage from the lines as well. And there it is. A Javelineer's. Very annoying, making the Willow even more vulnerable. And I am playing with Bad Moons, and look at that, not finding a land here. That's not great for me, and there's an attack. I am going to play, oh, there's a Terror on the Javelineers. And that's how annoying I find them. And there's another Javelineers. 
Ay, ay, ay. I think the terrorists came from the sideboard, by the way. Playing another swamp here. Tapping to an anime dead. And remember, it has minus one, minus zero, so it's a zero one Javelineers. He's probably gonna kill it. If he's not gonna kill it, I hope not, of course, I can use it to kill that Pump Knight, because that's actually my my secret plan, and I had that plan already when I decided to tear the Javelineers when there was only one on the board. And there he's attacking, blocking here, regenerating, trying to tempt Ryan here to take out my Willow, but Ryan, you're no fool, you know what you're doing, and that's a good play, sir. Very good play, and again, I'm taking damage here, going to 10, and I still have that Pump Knight, and that's really my biggest concern. Playing 4 here, playing a Pestilence, and Pestilence is a great card against the Weenie deck, but in this case, it's not going to kill the, the Order of Light Burr, and that's the big problem. I think this game would have looked differently if at least I had decent mana and some Dark Rituals, perhaps. Dark rituals. But that Pump Knight is just brilliant, and I think, Ryan, you're making the right decisions every time. Three. I now pay one to kill the other weenies, which at least keeps me alive playing a Willow here, but still, it's not a solution. And remember, he's playing with red, so he's got bolts. I haven't seen chains, but he's got some direct damage. So as soon as you're in bolt range, you have to worry. And he can now bring me into bolt range. I'm on four. Looks like he's not going to pump. So maybe he has another play that he wants to make your second main face. Wheel of Fortune. I like your style, sir. Oh, no. I'm losing my disc. How long did I have that in hand? Why didn't I just play the disc? I mean, the disc would have solved the pump night problem. Okay, strange here. Anyway, I have to discard it. Draw seven new ones. It looks like this game is pretty much played, or, you know, I need to deal with that Order of Light Bird right now in this turn. Tapping five. Playing double Dark Ritual. So six mana. Ooh, playing a Drain Life for seven. So at least it's going to give me some breathing space. Going up to 11 then, I believe. Yes, 11. My opponent is now on 13. So at least I have some time. But remember, Ryan has his hand full as well. And that probably means direct damage. He can also... Well, the he cannot attack with the factory because he just played it. But of course he's going to attack. Going to 9 if he's not going to pump. Ooh, a white knight. Making things even more painful for me. There's nothing I can do against these creatures. I need that disc back. Playing him, I mean, it's nice. It's cute and all, but I'm on nine, and I'm just dying again. Even after all those lives from the drain life. And playing... Ooh, that's nice. Playing a black knight. At least being able to hit him back. I mean, he's on 13. But I'm on five, so it's... And, ooh. Playing a lightning bolt there, but now I know he also has a chain in hand still. And here kind of you see the power of two colors. I'm playing mono black, so everything that has protection from white is a huge problem for me. He's playing with red, so he can just take care of my protection from white creatures. So that's really nice when you're playing with two colors. That kind of gives you that that depth that you can do a bit more. You know, I, I'm personally a really big fan of mono colors because it's kind of, it shows what the color is about, I, I think, you know, but... I have to be honest here. That's probably the reason why a lot of people play multiple colors. You're just more flexible. Attacking here. This is it. This is the game. I'm on one. He just has to pump it. But okay, deciding to chain it. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you got it, man. So, uh, wow. Going down here 2-0 to zero against my patron, Ryan. Um, well done, sir. I guess we need a rematch. Um, and I need to go back to the drawing board with uh, my mono black deck because I think with a few adjustments for instance artifact creatures or more discs or playing out your disc when you have it in hand uh, I could stand a better chance but also well played here um, by Ryan so thank you Ryan for this game and thank you for supporting Timmy Talks on Patreon if you would like to support Patreon as well you can have a look on our Patreon page and you can see it right now 
uh, the, the page it, uh, itself actually so yeah have a look let me know what you think and if you enjoy the show and if you want to support us you know consider becoming a Patreon let's go to the uh, talking about patrons let's go to the end scroll of our Patreons Ik het als fikker te somber gezicht.